Hey, what's up? Another episode of Punches and Kicks and Other Ill from Combat Corner. Thank you, Combat Corner, for getting behind us. Um, martial arts, combat sports has been awesome to me. So you guys are awesome to me, and I want to give back to you by um, giving you some knowledge, some tips, some skills, and drills, and etc. So what better place than punches and kicks and other ill? Speaking of other ill things, we're going to show you how to use these bad bows today. The bad bows, the elbows. I got my man, maybe you've seen him on Spike TV. He just had a great fight down in McCollin, Texas at the end of September. Uh, the one and only, the Durango kid, overtime, because he works harder than no one else. And uh, his, his boy Showtime, so he's overtime. The one, the, the, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, El Matador, Manuel Sanchez. How's it going, guys? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got him a little excited. I wasn't sure. Wait for my cue. Yeah, uh, I wasn't <laughs> sure if he was going to bust out, but he's the bilingual master. So if we want to, maybe we'll do some Lat Latino Spanish ones too for our. Our Spanish-speaking uh, combat corner fans all over the world. Like it, I like it, yeah. Yeah. Los del México, estas instrucciones para de striking el Muay Thai, el clinch, la lucha libre con el CM Punk, lo que sea. Tenemos esas técnicas aquí de Rufus Sport en Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right, so whatever he said, you got it. So awesome. Like I said, we love all all you supporters out there, all the fans. And man, I gotta say, we had a great time at uh, UFC 192, huh? We took over Texas. Yeah, it was great. It was good. Uh, obviously, Manny's really close with Sergio and Anthony. Um, and as well, our teammate, Tyron Woodley, unfortunately didn't get a chance to showcase some of those great skills we were sharing with a lot of the Combat Corner videos we were putting out. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Gotta say thank you to the UFC. Dana White, they're awesome. They're giving Ty the title shot. and. Um, they're very generous. They took care of our man, and I'm really happy about that. Um, like I said, thank you again, Dana Lorenzo. And like I said, Ty's going to be staying in shape. Um, we don't want to wish ill will towards any of the contenders coming up in the big fight, but uh, Ty's going to stay ready. If Johnny or Robbie get hurt, Ty's going to be ready to rock and roll and go for UFC glory. That being said, speaking of glory, um, the glory of Muay Thai, we're going to work on the Thai boxing. The salt D, the, the good elbow as they'd say in top. Now we've been working on some skills with this. What we're going to do is use some defensive skills with the elbow. So one thing we can do, if he throws a hook at me, I can block and counter with the elbow at the same time. So that's a little different angle. I push off my back foot. I'm actually trying to time this as he's coming in. Even when they clinch, actually my, my, my boy, as Hanato Laranja would call him, Alan the Talons Belcher, use this actually Alan the talent but we all know Hanato's a little loco but anyway um, Alan used this very successfully against Caleb Starnes very cool the up elbow we're seeing a lot more elbows in mixed martial arts and we're I, in fact there was a great fight you got to YouTube it um, I really like this kid Moon his uh, he's from the Sitmunchai camp um, Yot, Yot Kumpun, he fought in glory, but he had an incredible knockout Saturday at Omnoy Stadium. He rocked the guy with the right hand and then came in, bang, jump elbow. I'll try and share that on the DRSU page later this week. It was a great knockout. One thing is, a really nice kid. I met him. Uh, Abby helped them out a little bit at glory because they had a little hard time with him with some of the stuff, so I, um, you know, go way back with all my Thai friends, and he has a great trainer in um, the Crew Dom, who is the head trainer at Tip Munchai, so real nice people. Check it out if you love elbows. It was a wicked knockout. I loved it, but anyway, so another way we can do too, what I like to do, when they reach with a jab, I can parry and use that elbow in there as well. So using the parry, that's why you do see some of the Thai fighters keeping their hands higher, because they use this high guard to Use that elbow. A little key to make this elbow meaner is you want to flick your wrist. So as he's flicking the wrist at me, that gets that gouging effect. So when I do this at him with the elbow too, see how I push off my foot, I put my hips, everything into that elbow. So that's another idea. Another elbow I like, similar to the Anderson Silva, famous elbow that uh, was in cage wars over in England years ago um, against Tony Fricklin. Beautiful technique, still one of my favorite mixed martial arts KOs is um, the slipping elbow, similar to Anderson, except swinging forward, we've done that. 
I'm gonna slip under the jab and bang, elbow under. A couple of my favorite fighters use this. There's a guy, um, he's a little younger than me and he's still fighting in Thailand, putting on big fights is uh, somewhat Kem Singh. He's, you know, ironically, is never a, a champ, stadium champion, but really crafty boxer. He's the one who actually really kind of helped build Sanchai or Kingstar from Jockey Gyms fame in Thailand because he was a former Olympic boxing champion as well. So he's really slick, crafty fighter. I got to train with some of his trainers for a couple of years. So, and as well, uh, I saw this move years ago from uh, Kru Yatong and Sega Tong. A little key to this, obviously slipping, but as I slip, I let my arm drop. When I slip, bang, that's where I get the power. If I don't let that arm drop, I'm not gonna get that much power. So what I'm trying to do as I slip, drop the arm, and come up hard, and right as I hit, I want to twist. I'll show you from this angle. And, then, and there's a coup de gras, the excellent, excellent finish here off of this. So as I slip the elbow, boom, now, pow, I spin through. So that's another cool little detail that we can work with that elbow. Like I said, uh, I'll, as you know, all, all my Rufus Ford fighters, they love to dabble and work these things. Gerald Mearshard and Titan fighting in his last fight, did excellent with his elbows and knees as well. Biggie, uh, Mike Biggie Rhodes, UFC vet, he, he just crucified a guy in April. My man, Manny Sanchez, he is wheeling and dealing elbows and knees. Actually, his last fight, I gotta send man respect. We're not trying to put the man down when we explain what happened, but Henry Corrales from Bellator, you are one tough SOB. After the fight, we're, we're all yakking it up in the back, getting the medical, and lo and behold, <laughs> Henry goes, hey man, look, you knocked out my two front teeth. Manny knocked both of his front teeth out with his left knee here, and he's got the scar to prove it, but man, the, the, you know, I have so much respect for our fellow fighters. Anybody who gets in the ring is a champion to me. You know, so everybody on the internet, let's stop that fighter bashing. I mean, until you've crossed the ropes or the mat or the cage, don't 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 rip on these guys because man, the guy had to spend a day in, or two in the hospital getting plastic surgery and uh, he's already excited about fighting again. So a great fighter, it was a great match and respect to, to Mr. Corrales. And, but that goes to show you the lethal um, strength of the elbow and knee game. So again, I'll, I'll walk you back through that See, I slip. Actually, I'll do it from this angle. I think you guys will like this one a little better. Unfortunately, you got to look at my big fat you know what, but that's all right. Here we go. So I slip, I drop, and I push up off my toe, pivot, turn my head, bang. And the same thing as I come through, whip. And I really try and twist and bang. So I pull my body weight into it. I'll show you from this angle how I pull the body weight. So as I slip, See, I use my upper body to get the power as well. Turn, look, bang, and I pull my body weight into that. That's a really cool elbow. Like I said, another cool fighter. Um, unfortunately, passed away, Chet Chai Paisatong. If you're looking to Google on, on YouTube, uh, Chet Chai, or they call him Samat2, um, S-A-M-A-R-T-2. Sorry, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a video geek when I went on the Joe Rogan show. That's, we had a lot of fun, and uh, I'm going to get back on Joe's real soon, too. Um, hopefully share some more fights with everyone. But anyway, th that's another guy. Another guy, too, with a really killer spinning back elbow is uh, Siddha Patai from Jockey Gym, too. I love the back elbow. And then we all know, uh, I want to send out a shout-out to um, Senor Bonuelos from uh, CSA Army. He's always on um, the Lion Fights. That kid is wicked with the spinning elbows. I enjoy watching him. And of course, my home girl, my sister from another mister, um, she's the master of the spinning elbows, Tiffany, the time bomb, Van Soost. So that, hopefully you enjoyed that technique. And um, either on Combat Corner page or the Do Groove Striking page, if you want some requests or something for something you want to work on next week, feel free to check us out. So definitely go to dogroovestriking.com. If you want to join the uh, Duke Rivers Striking University at DukeRivers.com. It's only one dollar for a whole week to check it out and you can see all the fun little stuff we like doing on there. Check us out on our Facebook page, Duke Rivers Striking University. And as well, Combat Corner, man, look at these killer, killer new ring gear, got bags, got this new equipment. They're, they're just, they're just 
outfit in the Rufus Sport headquarters here. So again, thank you, Comeback Corner. Speaking of Comeback Corner, big things happening October 17th right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We got the Comeback Corner Grappling Championships going down. It's a killer tournament, especially for you high-level grapplers. There's no gi absolute cash divisions that are a blast. There's a lot of really good competitors that are going to be out there and a lot of really good teams, so don't miss it. It's a great well-run affordable tournament and they get done early you can't gain better um i don't know about you guys i've been to different martial arts tournaments my whole life and there's nothing worse than being there 12 hours and not compete until the end of the day um, that doesn't happen at combat corner dan and the squad over there they run a tight ship and a fun ship and a great ship great competition now another thing i want to prep everyone these school owners and people who are in the industry november 5th, 6th, 7th, Combat Con in Biloxi, Mississippi at the Gold Nugget Casino and Resort. Uh, it's going to be the second time that I'm involved with this. Alan Belcher, really sharp, uh, mixed martial arts and martial arts mind. We're getting all the best people in the industry exchanging ideas and how to grow your business, how to get your students better, how to get your staff better, how to do everything better. Because to me, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse in everything I do in life. I was trying to get better as a teacher, a trainer, a man, a father, a husband, a brother, a friend. So um, why not do that in business? And that's how we grown Rufus Sport to go from you know the, the, the crappy warehouse gym that I used to live in with my wife to uh, this beautiful facility and academy um, but that being said uh, thanks again um, look for all the new combat corner gear coming out so the first run of the handmade in Thailand stuff that that's my baby that was um, something that I worked on closely with Dan and Dan had the vision to, to back a Thailand made stuff because that's the hardest thing getting affordable great stuff from Thailand and I'm so happy I think at Combat Corner they hit a grand slam getting all this great gear from Thailand you can see there's all my pad stuff um, everything I use and that's what helps me build these guys and help them daily on the career that they, they, they sponsor all of our top guys as well and um, like, like I said, I just feel grateful. That's what I'm giving back. Again, if you want requests and things of that nature, uh, definitely uh, go on our pages, hit me up on Instagram and or Twitter, all that stuff. Manny, what's uh, your social media, buddy? Which? Instagram, at Matador Sanchez. Twitter, at El Matador 145. Facebook, Emmanuel Sanchez. My Facebook fan page, Emmanuel El Matador Sanchez. All right, so like I said, we're, we're waiting. We might have a fight coming up real quick here in Bellator. He just fought a week ago. Uh, I want to hand it to my man Scott Coker, matchmaker Rich Chow over there. They're kicking butt and taking names with Bellator. And obviously, um, I love everybody who takes care of the fighters. So Bellator is great. UFC is great. They're all great in my book. Like I said, I think uh, Dana and Lorenzo before um, as well. Uh, congratulations to my friends at Lion Fight, Scott Kent. He's doing a great job there, really keeping the art of Thai boxing uh, preserved here in America and as well getting it on TV and uh, collaborating with, with big promotions overseas. So that's my shout out this week to Scott Kent. And don't forget the fat man behind the camera, El Gordo, his favorite show around. You can't miss my friends at Glory Friday night. So tune in to Spike TV Friday night. You got to watch Glory Kickboxing. It's going to be awesome. They're going to be going back to Denver. So a lot of heartbreaking and life, to, or I should say, heartbreaking and breathtaking out there in the mountains of, of Denver in the altitude. We're going to find out who really wants the glory, who can fight in that uh, altitude. Always a great show from Glory. I miss all my all my friends over there at Glory. Um, like I said, I miss broadcasting, but got so many other great things going on. Good luck to Glory, and obviously good luck to um, everything that Lion Fight's doing, and everyone else is putting out positive uh, shows for combat sports and also too uh, I'll be in Chicago October 16th for Premier Boxing so I'm really excited my man Manny and I are going to go watch uh, live boxing in Chicago with Spike TV and Showtime and I we're going to the Canelo and uh, Koto fight so that's the first big boxing fight I've been in a while if you do follow me on Instagram you'll probably see me sharing a lot of clips of Canelo I'm, I'm a Canelo fan I like his stuff I think the world of uh, Miguel Koto maybe we'll do a predictions uh, video with some of our guys before that that could be a fun little thing but uh, keep supporting combat sports and martial arts peace everybody thank you